And this is our Mini 5 2017 with a 2017 Ford F350 Dually and we got here our first load <coughs> of the day we loaded a Bronco in the front we got four cars it's a five car hauler we got four cars today heading all the way to Los Angeles from Las Vegas Nevada some of the problems that I don't see on some of the other videos it's um, for example, here on this Bronco, it's leaking me a little bit of oil, and then once you come to your bed, you got a mess in there. Not good. So, so we come down here, we got this seat tent up here, which obviously it's also leaking transmission fluid and you don't see that in any of the other videos but I'm just trying to warn you guys I put a towel here because we're not leaving yet once we leave it's gonna make a mess good thing all these four cars is for the same customer um, maybe this beautiful car back here is gonna get a little bit of splotch from that oil there um, so here we got this one Got that towel avoiding all the uh, extra oil because it was actually leaking all the way down here through here i kind of clean it up for the customer kind of make it look a little bit shinier for you know with that extra oil there not good got my straps there with a little bit of oil not a biggie and this is the way basically guys you guys need to be strapping these cars so the best straps um you tie all four wheels not just one on each side you tie all four wheels on all your cars it's gonna take you a little bit longer but it's a little bit safer see on the bronco all the tires are strapped same as that one this one here then you guys also want to secure any extra loads like that one it's got a little bit of a load on top it's going to la as well make sure that's very secure Otherwise, you'd be losing some load on the way. This car right here, make sure you guys note it. Note all the damage. Like this one is missing some of the parts here. Okay, take a lot of pictures, guys. Every little scratch. Take pictures, because they're going to want to blame it on you. No, 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 no. Okay, so there it is. This one is sticking a little bit out, even though I got a little bit of room in front here. See, I could have just make it a little bit closer, but the problem is, how the hell do you get out of the car? So, I'll explain. Let's go around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See, I could have fit another car there, but we only found four this time. Like I say, mention especially on the nice cars like this classic right here. Make sure you guys note all the damage. Even though the customer say, "Oh, that's fixed already now." That could look like you fix it and you did the dent, dent yourself. This side is also missing. This right here on the side on the whole door, so you can see, and it also has a big dent right here. You guys have to note that one. So, like I was saying, this car was forward. I put it all the way to the front. It was right about, you know, here, you know, pretty close to it. But, there's a problem with the uh, Mini 5. That this door, as you can see from a little bit far away, this door being right here, and me being not that skinny, um, you can see once I open this door, if the car was a little bit forward, I couldn't be able to get out. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with that in other future cars. Hopefully, I don't have any problem with my butt sticking out this much. But if I do, I guess I'm going to have to climb on that window. Pull the car forward if I get pulled over by DOT or in a scale. And there, 
end up giving me a little bit of break for that butt being sticking out but let's say if they tell me that uh, I have to fix it then I'll fix it so I just park this car right here because we're not leaving until later on today and take a little bit of nap and then we'll be leaving just in case they don't steal that car from me but anyway make sure you guys lock all your cars especially the ones in the bottom and because the car is right in front of my house with cameras it's okay i'm not locking the top one the windows are down but right before i leave i'm gonna shut those windows down um and basically here it is guys this is just the uh, mini five uh with only four cars again to all those new guys out there like me make sure you're dropping all your vehicles in all four tires don't do two tires don't listen to people this is the safe way of doing it if you have to slam on your brakes you can do so knowing that your cars are safe out there uh, obviously you want to pay attention in front of you uh, make sure you're not texting or doing anything else because if you gotta slam on your brakes I'm not sure if those four straps are gonna hold that Bronco um, you know if I really have to slam on them so I'm trying basically to use the J brake on the truck and go slow on it do the speed limit 65 pay attention in front of you and that way you don't have to do any um, certain maneuver uh, that's gonna cause any tip over the trailer or any cars falling off or falling on top of the truck but anyway so you guys can see here it's our new baby we are basically in the route of Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Arizona, and Texas. We love Texas. Why not? So, you guys have it. Yeah, she can do it. She did it. And here we got it. All right, guys. That's it for now. I'm going to be posting some more videos about the uh, five car carrier, how to load, how to unload. And so, keep watching. We learn together.